A lot of people were asking me about this like almost every single day and finally the time has come. I'm finally done with the Dua preset pack and it is ready. I know it took really really long time. If I remember correctly it was around September previous year that we actually decided to make a Diva preset pack. Then I remember I told you that it will take time because I really like to take my time and try to really put my time on every single preset in the preset pack to make it as good as possible. So idea with this one with the Diva was uh, making a preset pack that can become your bread and butter preset pack so that whenever you need something, whenever you need a new sound, whenever you need like instant Inspiration, you just head over to the preset pack and find something useful. Hence, it's not only a preset pack, it's also actually the midi pack and sample pack at the same time. So it comes with more than 100 presets and more than 100 midis, mostly influenced by artists and the labels. And of course, the mix down of those two as a loop as well. So you basically go there and quickly go through different loops and midis so that you have something. And of course, you can combine different midis for different presets and then the possibilities are, of course, endless. But I will shut up now because I know everybody just want me to play the presets now and hear them rather than me keep talking all the time. So let me jump to Dableton and show you the presets. So basically these are the presets. I just put them into Diva and it's more than I think under two different presets. We have the bases, we have the plugs, pads and effects. The first thing that I want to show you actually, the it comes with the loops, midis and presets. What you can do, what I like to do, put them inside my folder, my sample folder. In this case, I have, a, for example, a folder that is called Essential Samples. And here under I have my, my presets. And here you can see my midis, like under two midis, a midi preset file for each preset and then a loop and a preset here but it's not useful of course inside the Ableton like that presets are supposed to be in the diva let's say we head over here and we are going back to our presets over here I have everything so let, let's say you are going through the different presets now so if I go through quickly Let's say you like this sound, but oftentimes what I receive from my students, for example, they know that they like the sound. It sounds like techno, for example, but they actually don't know how to use that sound. The plus side of the MIDI is, is actually here, for example. Oftentimes you see the names like this, Spectre is thinking about you, basically. I, what I'm trying to say, this is a preset influenced by Spectre's track thinking about you. So you will see that all these different names, like uh, basically I try to put the name of the track and the artist in the same preset and try to be creative at the same time so you will get that tip from each preset what I'm trying to say but anyway let's go back and it's 27 here so what I'm going to do go back here and pick a 27 put it over here and click yes so that I import my um, tempo as well and if I play it So basically, you see that how artist actually uses it. And if I zoom it, you will see that uh, the name again and actually tune as well. So that you don't need to think about which uh, tunes and chords that you can use. This, for example, illustration like that. So basically, you can use it this way or you can use it freely the way you want it. And of course, I have the loops. And this one is more useful just to go through quickly through the different uh, sounds. So that if you find something here that kind of, let's say, inspires you, and then you can take it, find the preset afterwards and do something about it. So for this video, I will just go through the loops because it's just very presets that played so that you can actually hear it better or hear more about each preset. So I'm try I, I will try to like pick some random stuff and so that you can hear. Hello. So let's start with this. More like uh, after life ish vibe. So let's go Blomquist. So the main theme with this preset pack is actually a lot of the sounds you will hear that will sound quite analog. It will be really, really hard to actually distinguish if it is a preset or VST or analog often times. And that was the aim that I was going for. So let's try. Let's keep going.
This is a classic. I mean, these paths are just so, so beautiful. I could listen like whole day, literally. And yeah, I really don't want to go every go through everything. I will put the link below. There are more previews on the website, so you can go there and check it out. And just for the YouTube, for my subscribers, because they are always the first one to know about the preset pack. So we will have 30% of discount first three, four weeks. And then afterwards, we will go back to regular price. But if you like it, try to get it as fast as possible while we have discount on it. Like I said, this is the product of really countless hours listening to different tracks, trying to kind of influence by them and get similar things so that you know the sounds and you know how to use them and create all these media files and loops and everything together. It takes a lot of time, but I think this is the press preset pack I have done up to now and I hope you enjoy it if you ever buy it and support me. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you learned something and I will catch you next one. Goodbye.